I'd like to call to order the Public Works and Engineering Services Committee, January the 24th. Already having the invocation and pledge. Uh, have a full quorum. All of the re previous meeting minutes. Second. Um, good, Mr. Johnson. Please ready for your approval, Mr. Chairman. No, I don't believe we have any presentations or consent. We'll go right into the debate. Gordon is taking the week off or <laughs> nothing this morning. So. <laughs> oh, okay. Good man. Thank you for that. All right. First, I'm going to ask Mr. Prather to come up and present a, an item for a contract for some more design work. Good morning, Stephen. Have a good morning. weekend. Um, I only have one item for y'all's consideration this morning. It's a professional services contract with Chris Booker and Associates. Uh, this is for architectural design for the coroner's office. They're planning to have an addition out there and some renovation. Renovation would include a new generator, new roof. If y'all been by there, you've seen the, uh, the building kind of fall in disrepair. So this will give them some more space um, and, a, and a facelift that's, that's very needed. Um, so I, uh, staff recommends the contract with Chris Booker in the amount of $56,000, um, and this will be funded by ARPA. Move to consent. Second. So moved. Thank you, Steve. All right, Mr. Titus. <clears throat> Good morning. Uh, the first item we have for your consideration is the purchase of applied information uh, glance city supervisory system modules. These are the modules, the plug-in modules that basically monitor the safety and security of our traffic cabinets. Um, basically, if a, if a door is left open on a, on a cabinet or a fan goes out or a piece of equipment is overheating, we get an alert. Um, additionally, there's a kind of an added bonus is using these modules, there's the Travel Safely app that you can download that'll actually connect to these modules and let you know how the signal's running, you know, if it's running. If you have a, a long green or long red time before it turns to green and stuff, if, if a pedestrian running the app and they cross in the crosswalk, it'll let uh, drivers know. So it's kind of the, 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 the beginning of the AI wave, if you will. Um, this will be the third round of the uh, deployment of these modules. Uh, we've already done two rounds. This will be the third. We expect one more round after this year, um, next year. Fulfill the remaining cabinets that don't have them all need traffic signals. We require these to be installed in them. So the total purchase uh, price is $69,150.08. Um, the budget, uh, we budgeted $73,400, I think, in this year's budget for this. We funded out of IPTF. Staff recommends approval. Second. So move. The next item we have is a Georgia Power Relocation Agreement uh, for Horizon South Parkway widening. Um, in August of 2021, the Board of Commissioners approved an agreement uh, for this uh, in the amount of $530,329. Uh, that agreement was good for a year. Um, I think we had to start construction within six months of signing it and it was good for a year um, however that's lapsed and since georgia power has come back with a revised uh, agreement uh in the amount in an amount not to exceed six hundred five thousand three hundred three dollars um it is tier reimbursable uh the project has been awarded to er snail we expect to issue that notice to proceed any day now um, we're waiting on bonds and whatnot to complete the contract from er snail uh, staff recommends When are they going to start? We, we expect to issue notice to proceed 1st of February, so within okay, 10 so days or so, we'll see them mobilizing. Move to consent. The next item we have is acceptance of improvements for River Oaks Phase 3 to include the road, storm water, and sanitary sewer, along with the rights of way and easements. Uh, this one does not have a detention pond. Uh, detention ponds were built in previous phases. Um, this, of course, is contingent upon staff's approval. Staff recommends approval. Yes, sir. Yeah. 
And the last item we have is acceptance of improvements for Tillery Park Section 2, uh, the road, water, sanitary, sewer, storm sewer, and this one does have a detention fund. Um, of course, this is contingent upon staff's approval. Staff recommends acceptance. Second. Yes, sir. I've included the uh, year-to-date budget report and the water and sewer construction reports. If you have any questions, I'm prepared to answer those. I don't. Commissioners or public comment? I have one item. What's the motion? We just move it to the full board. Second. That we are uh, adjourned at 10:20. Look at that! Look at just cheesy crackers. <laughs>